What's up there guys, Gareth William 414 here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. In today's video, 10 facts about Obelisk the Tormentor. And on this channel I do Yu-Gi-Oh character deck profiles, character deck duels and fact videos just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the like button and share this video with a friend that's into Yu-Gi-Oh as it would really help the channel out. So Obelisk the Tormentor, he is a divine attribute, divine beast effect type with 4,000 attack and 4,000 defense. His effect reads, requires three tributes to normal summon, cannot be normal set. This card's normal summon cannot be negated. When normal summon cards and effects cannot be activated, cannot be targeted by spells, traps, or card effects. Once per turn during the end phase, if this card was special summoned, send it to the graveyard. You contribute two monsters, destroy all monsters your opponent controls. This card cannot declare an attack the turn this effect is activated. So with that background on Obelisk done, let's get straight into the facts. In Egyptian culture, an obelisk is a tall, narrow, four-sided tapering monument which ends in a pyramid top. Obelisks are a special type of religious monument from ancient Egypt. The shape of an obelisk is in the likeness of a singular ray of sunlight piercing the clouds while hitting the earth at a 90 degree angle. Obelisk the Tormentor is most likely a far more ferocious looking version of Geb, who was the Egyptian god of earth, soil and stone. This is the first Egyptian god to appear in the manga and anime, the first to be summoned by the pharaoh in ancient Egypt and the millennium world, and also the first to have a legal version. Also, when all three Egyptian gods are mentioned or summoned in the anime, this card is almost always the first to be mentioned, though it's sometimes second after Slifer. This is the only Egyptian god not to make an in-duel appearance in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. This card has a wicked god counterpart called the Wicked Dreadroot. It also has a sacred beast counterpart in Raviel, Lord of Phantasms. This card was the first legal divine beast type monster released in the OCG and TCG. Also, the only card that was released two times as a promotional card in the Shonen Jump magazine. The first time as the illegal Obelisk the Tormentor, the second time as the legal Obelisk the Tormentor. The alternate artwork version of this card is Obelisk, as he appeared in the Dawn of the Duel arc. The same form also appeared in Yu-Gi-Oh! R, when Yu-Gi used Divine Evolution on Obelisk. This is the only Egyptian god card to have a predetermined attack and defense value, as well as its immunity to being targeted. It is also the only Egyptian god card not to be based on a dragon. Since the Egyptian god cards are the same colour as the gods themselves, Obelisk the Tormentor is the only blue coloured card that is not a ritual monster. Note that the blue is darker than ritual monsters. In the Millennium World manga, Obelisk is also known as the Giant God of the Royal Palace. Both times Yami Yugi summoned Obelisk against Yami Marik and Yugi, he did so by sacrificing three of the same tokens, Metal Fiend tokens and Tricky tokens. Thanks for watching guys, they were 10 facts on Obelisk the Tormentor. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something cool about this awesome god card. If you'd like to see more fact videos like this one and you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like button and share this video with a friend that's into Yu-Gi-Oh! as it would really help the channel out. And of course, if I haven't covered a monster, character or card that you'd like to see me do a fact video on, drop me a comment in the comment section below and I will look around to getting a video made on that. But that is all from me guys, thank you so much for tuning in, I will see you in the next video, take care.